So, um, more about what happened uh, Saturday before uh, last Saturday, uh, the 26th of July. As I told you before, uh, I this major heart uh, problem, this seizure, my heart, and um, uh, after uh, when it stopped, uh, they moved me to the intensive care, care ward, as I said. And yesterday, and uh, when I was still in the ER, and they told me that it might be this uh, emergency emergency C section, I called uh, my friend Eva, who was supposed to be with me uh, when the baby was coming, and um, she drove there as fast as she could. So she was there when um, I came to the intensive care ward. And they held, held me there for a few hours because they was afraid that uh, my heart would uh, be too exhausted. That I'd cause this um, scissor would have caused some more damage to my heart and uh, that it would be dangerous to send me home. So there I was uh, in the same room as I were when um, I lost to tell her. Right after that operation, when they brought and uh, Eva was uh, next to my father, who was the first person who came there. Uh, Eva was the first one to see Ella. That I returned. <clears throat> I think it was almost more emotional for her to be. Room again that was anyway. Uh, when I was there, they this CTG uh, monitor to, to uh, the baby was doing, and because it seems to be stressed after this extreme seizure I uh, had, yeah, and um, I started to have some contractions. And I was so tired, I didn't really notice I had this contraction. They hurt pretty bad, but I was just not really there. It was I was extremely tired by that time. And um, uh, Eva told the nurses that I had these contractions, and they told me that the midwife who was down with me earlier and uh, put this monitor on my belly had seen that I had this contraction, but she wanted to wait a little bit before she said anything, because if I didn't feel it myself, it probably isn't anything to you know, bother about. But um, as I felt it, they called the midwife again. She came down, and uh, she told me it wasn't anything to worry about, because uh, as she put it, nobody gives birth to a child without noticing it, and... Um, I thought this was pretty stupid of her to tell me because I did notice it. It was why they called her because I was in pain and I had these contractions and what more could she ask for? So uh, she said she was going to see if uh, something had happened to the cervix, if I had started to open up or anything. And um, not because she thought I had. She was sure I hadn't, but she wanted to make to check it out to make me feel calm, more calm and, you know, to not worry when I went home. And it was rather painful and she was really surprised because I had started to open up and um, just like I would. So I was practically in labor. So um, after a while, after the discussion with the cardiologue, they moved me to another ward, to a maternity ward, and um, uh, there we stayed in the same room as I were when I started to be teller. So it was a lot of the same rooms and a lot of old feelings <laughs> coming back to me. Uh, Eva was really, really kind and extremely helpful. She asked me if I wanted to switch room. She could be, went to the nurses and demanded for them to switch room with me if I wanted to. Um, but I was 
just so extremely tired. It was just those attacks. They normally last like for half an hour or something like that, and then I'm more or less passed out for the rest of the day. And now this one was last for seven hours, and uh, I don't think I ever been that tired before. <laughs> um. And um, it was really hot because, um, well, it's really hot here right now. It's uh, about 30 degrees Celsius and above. Uh, in, in the middle of this, uh, the fire alarm set up. It's addition. So, uh, as I said, uh, the fire alarm set up in the middle of this. And um, oh. Eva. Uh, it's a very nice friend of me, and she got a lot of humor. And she has a special thing for men in uniforms, and even more so firefighters. So she was, you know, making jokes about how nice it had been. We got some really nice guys checking in, in on us when we, when I was in pain and everything like that. And um, she's not the kind who just talks; she acts. So uh, when we started to realize that the fire alarm wasn't anything dangerous going on and so on, she went out in the hallway and asked, talked to the midwives and heard of them and they told her it was uh, nothing serious, it wasn't any fire or something, it was just the fire alarm that had set it off. And then she uh, checked out, uh, started to talk to the firefighters and asked one of them to come in to <laughs> the delivery room and um, have a photo taken with me. Uh, during when I was in labor and it was like yeah it was really fun it got a good laugh uh, from for all of us the firefighter too and I think that is uh, one of the oddest things that can happen during a childbirth <laughs> at least when you're in hospital already so yeah um that was a nice part of it um yeah but um we stayed there in that room, and I kept having all those contractions, and it started to hurt more and more, and uh, we still we didn't get, get any really information from the midwives or the doctors. They was just waiting all the time. Or the midwife was really nice, and she came in to me a lot of times and checked on me and uh, talked about how I felt and so on, but. Uh, the doctor was, she didn't seem like she cared really, and uh, I was going to have this C-section, which was planned from the beginning, both because uh, I really was scared about what happened, uh, I was scared that what happened when I gave birth to Tyler would happen again, of course, but also because of my heart, and uh, she knew about the scissor I had before, and um, how badly it could have turned out, and still she just negligated me, I felt. So, when the time was about uh, 10, 10.30, something like that, I still had no idea if, uh, it was what we was going to do. And as I'm going to have a C-section anyway, I don't really understand why they wanted to wait, and uh, I still don't know. It's a mystery to me. And that is about as much I can tell you during this short time the video lasts. So uh, I'm gonna make another video and uh, post an update again tomorrow. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.